Now let's go back to Australia again and talk about the Greens. You've got a Greens councillor up there who's uh, <laughs> got an interesting solution to the housing yeah. crisis. Let's see what he wrote on Facebook. Uh, he said, if you're looking for an empty home to squat... One useful tool can be look at the statistical area one data sets, which break the city up into small blocks of only a couple of streets. This is a helpful way of identifying the neighbourhoods that might have particularly high numbers of empty dwellings and where you're more likely to be able to find a suitable place to squat. <laughs> he then went on to give some examples before he wrote this lame disclaimer. Obviously, I would never encourage anyone to break the law oh, and this is just all hypothetical no. advice. Now, Gary, this is your backyard. I mean, this guy is openly encouraging yep. squatting, encouraging people to trespass on other people's property. What is going on up there? Well, look, Jonathan Shree, uh, Raganathan is what he wants to call himself. He, well, he's known as Councillor Shree. Uh, he's been in the Brisbane City Council now for two terms. He's on 200k a year. Uh, when he was first elected, he actually had no fixed address. It was actually bobbing around in the Brisbane River. He lived on a boat. So he actually had to go, because the, the river is actually not part of the city of Brisbane, he actually <laughs> had to go and get an anchor address. He actually is enrolled it's somewhere <laughs> inside his, uh, his, his ward. Uh, this guy's on 200k a year, and, and most of the time, every time, <laughs> Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner, terrific bloke, and this is the longest-serving Liberal government in Australia, the Brisbane City Council, 18 years, constantly reinventing itself. Schrinner puts forward ideas about public housing, and more often than not, Shri just strikes it down because it's in his own area. So go figure. You know, I mean, the guy is full of it. Uh, we're all talking about it. It's the biggest publicity he's ever had probably in his life that he's on Paul Murray Live with Rita Panahi. I mean, you know, <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's, it's just BS. Uh, the problem is the Queensland government is woeful on public housing, absolutely woeful, nothing new to see here. They have a big bureaucracy that runs around with clipboards and iPads and everything, inspects stuff, they sell off housing stocks. It's a crisis. We've got 15,000 homes left the housing stock as a result of the floods earlier this year. Some suburbs 60% empty, 50,000 people couch surfing tonight and probably one of them could be Councillor Shree because he's been known to confess to having done a bit of couch surfing over the years. So uh, uh, it's just madness. He you should become what? an attraction. He might become, you, you he might become the, Greens, the mascot for the you Olympics. You vote for the Greens, you deserve <laughs> what you get. You know what? You can only have sympathy for people for so long. You vote for these people and they come up with these yep. sort of ideas, then you know what? You got what you voted for. Yep. Thank you to my wonderful yep. panel, my Michael Kroger, Gary Hargrave and James Morrow. Don't go anywhere. I've got a whole new panel and we're going to be looking at